Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send postmark template email for Elementor form submission. So I am an owner of a business and I collect my customers' data with the help of form submission. And I've created the form with the help of Elementor. So my objective is that, that as soon as any of my customers are going to do a new form submission with the help of Elementor, automatically to them, I want to send an email with the help of postmark. For that, what we are going to do is, we are going to simply create an automation between Elementor and Postmark with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn to do this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send Postmark template email for Elementor form submission. So I am an owner of a business and I collect the data of my leads, that's my customers, with the help of form submission. And I have created the form with the help of Elementor. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my customers with the help of Elementor, automatically to them I want to send an email with the help of the template that I've created with the help of Postmark on their Gmail account. For that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between Elementor and Postmark with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as send postmark template email for Elementor form submission. So this is the name of my workflow right over here. After that over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I'm going to select Elementor Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send postmark template email for Elementor form submissions and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow right over here and for the trigger application over here we are going to be selecting it as Elementor. So I am going to select my trigger application as Elementor and for the trigger event as new form submission. So for the trigger application I have selected as Elementor and trigger event as new form submission because I am an owner of a business, a cooler business. I sell coolers to all of my customers and my objective is that whenever any of my customer are going to fill the form that I have created with the help of Elementor as you can see this is the form that I have created right over over here with the help of Elementor. So what I want is I want to capture the response of the new form submission done by my customers automatically in Pabli Connect. Okay. For that what we are going to do is we are going to create a connection between Elementor and Pabli Connect with the help of this webbook URL. With the help of this unique webbook URL we are going to connect Elementor to Pabli Connect. For that copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, follow the steps given here below in the help desk in order to connect Elementor to Pabli Connect. Firstly, you need to open the form that you have created with the help of Elementor. As you can see, this is the form that I have created with the help of Elementor right over. If I am going to click on this form right over here. Over here on the left side of my screen, you can see there are multiple options given. If you are going to scroll down over here, it says Webbooks. We are going to click on Webbooks right over here. As you can see over here, it is asking for the Webbook URL. By pasting the Webbook URL right over here, what happens is this form is going to be connected to Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new form submission is going to be done, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After pasting the URL right over here, it says Update over here in the bottom. We have to click on Update right over here. As you can see that we successfully added the webhook to our form that we have created right over here. Now I am going to go to the edit page of this form right over here. 
So this is the edit page of this form that I've created. Over here it says update. We're going to click on it. It says over here that page is updated. This means that the form is now successfully connected to Pabli Connect with the help of the webhook URL. If I'm going to scroll down in this workflow, it says waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a test submission of the form that we have created with the help of Elementor and we're going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response, the test response that we are going to do with the help of Elementor or not. For that, I'm going to open my form that I've created. And over here, you can see a link is provided. This is the link of the form right away. I'm going to open this link in a new tab right over here. As you can see that this is the form that I've created with the help of Elementor for my coolers business. Okay. And now we're going to fill this form right over here in order to do the test submission. Firstly, it is asking for the first name. For the first name over here, I'm going to write it as demo. Next, it is asking for the last name. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as smart123. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as demo smart123 at the rate pabletudes.com. And lastly, for the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on send to do a test submission. After click on site, it says over here as your submission was successful. So now I'm going to open my workflow that I've created in my public Connect account and I'm going to check whether public Connect has captured the response of the test submission that we have done with the help of Elementor or not. For that, I'm going to open my workflow and I'm going to scroll down and yes, over here you can see a response is captured in our public Connect. Now we're going to tally the response for the first name as demo, last name as smart123, email as demo smart123 at the rate publitudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number and all the other details. So this means that we successfully set up our trigger step right over here and Elementor is successfully connected to Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step and as our objective is that, that whenever any of our customers are going to do a form submission with the help of Elementor, automatically to them, I want to send an email with the help of the template with the help of postmark. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our action step and for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as postmark. So I'm going to select my action application as postmark and for the action event as send email and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect postmark to public connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection after click on add new connection over here it is asking for the server api token for having the access of the server api token firstly we need to log into our postmark account and then we have to follow the steps given here below as you can see this is my postmark account right over here and to have the access of this server api token we have to click on the server that we have created in our postmark account so i'm going to open my server right over here so as I've done that over here, you can see there are multiple options over here. It says API tokens. We are going to click on it. As soon as you're going to do that over here, the API tokens page is going to appear in front of you. I've already generated an API token. So I'm going to copy this token. But if you want, you can generate your own API token by clicking on generate another token right over here. I have copied the token. I'm going to paste the token right over here and I'm going to click on save next. As you can see that we successfully connected postmark to Pabli Connect. Firstly, it is asking for the from email address. From which email address are we going to send an email to our customers? For the from email address right over here, I'm going to enter the email address with the help of which I've created my postmark account. Okay. So for the from email address over here, I'm going to enter my email address. So this is my email address with the help of which I've created my postmark account. Okay. So you have to enter your email address from which you have created the postmark account. Next over here, it is asking for the two email address on which email address do we want to send the email to. As our customer has done the form submission with the help of Elementor and in the response, we have also received their email address. So what we are going to do over here is we are going to map the data of the email address response that we have received of our customers. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow right over here. As now your question is going to be how we're going to map the data for that click on this field right over here. As soon as you're going to click on this field over here, it says Elementor new form submission. We're going to click on this this arrow and this was the response that was captured in our previous step. This was the previous step of this workflow and over here in the response you can see this is the email address of our customer. We are going to select this address right over here. After selecting over here you can see the data is successfully mapped right over here. As I map the data what happens is the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically in place of this map data the new data is going to be updated. Okay. Next it is asking for the CC and the BCC. I don't require the field so I'm going to skip the part but if you want you can enter the required data right over here in place of these fields next over here it is asking for the subject the subject of the email that we want to send to our customer for the subject over here i'm going to write it as 
thank you for your interest in our cooler so this is the subject that i want to write because as i am an owner of a cooler business so this is my subject if you want you can enter a subject of your email according to your requirement next it is asking for the html body if you are sending an email and if you want to enter the data in an html format then you can enter the body right over here the body of your email in html format right over here but as i'm entering the data in a plain text so i'm going to enter the body of my email over here in the text body right over here so for the main content of my email the body of my email i'm going to write it as as you can see that this is the body this is the content of the email that i want to send to my customer where it says hello next to the hello i want the name of my customer so i'm going to map the data of my name of my customer first name space the last name it says greetings of the day thank you for reaching out to us and expressing interest in our premium cooler so this is the body right over here the whole body lastly it says thank you once again for considering our coolers we look forward to assisting you and ensuring you to get the best cooler to meet your needs best regards so this is the content of the email that i want to send you have to enter the content of the email that you want to send to your customers according to your requirement okay next it is asking for the track opens i'm going to select it as active next it is asking for the track links i'm going to select it as none next it is asking for the message stream you have to enter the message stream according to your requirement as i don't require the field i'm going to skip the part okay so after filling all the details what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on save and send test request as you can see that over here response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response because for the message over here it says okay so now i'm going to open my gmail account and i'm going to check whether the new email is forwarded on my gmail account for the form submission that has been done with the help of elementor or not for that i'm going to open my gmail account and yes as you can see right over here a new email is forwarded on my gmail account it says hello demo smart 123 greetings of the day this is the subject thank you for your interest in our coolers this is the body of the email right over here so this means that we successfully created an automation between elementor and postmark with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i am collecting my customers data with the help of form submission and i have created the form with the help of elementor so my objective is that that whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of my customers with the help of elementor automatically i want to send them an email with the help of the template with the help of postmark for that what we have done is we have simply created an automation between elementor and postmark with the help of pabli connect and this how we create this amazing automation so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of pabli connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching